Hey everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Rybeck Valley. This map can be found over at modhoster.com and uh, read a little bit of the description to you. It says welcome to Rybeck Valley, a map inspired by a real place where I stay in South Africa. Enjoy farming in one of Cape Town's well-kept secrets. Whether you prefer arable, livestock husbandry, or forestry, this map has it all. Uh, they suggest uh, local drive and chop straw for harvesters as uh, two mods that are suggested. It says this map has all the farming simulator 17 features, including gold nuggets, field missions, viable fields, traffic, pedestrians, drivable trains, and sub points for train wagons. 15 fields from medium to small, designed for your hired workers won't get stuck. There are cows, pigs, sheep, and chickens multiple cell points, and two forestry areas. Let's go ahead and jump on in. We're going to leave all the DLCs checked, and uh, we're going to get a couple of these for a couple other apps that I'm looking at. Jump on in. See from the log that the map is loading up error free chop straw, and a little bit of starting equipment, not a whole lot. All right, so here we are. Let's take a look at the PDA. And the first thing you'll notice is this is a nice, small little map. Zoom on in here. So, all the fields. We have our standard crops on this map, and we start by owning field one. One and two. There's a grass field. One is an arable field. Uh, the rest of the fields here, you're going to have to uh, purchase. We have two main cell points for all of our crops, and then one cell point here for our grain. We have multiple cell points for manure, and for wood chips, we have a wool cell point. Cell point for loose hay, straw, and grass. And four cell points for hay pellets and one cell point for straw pellets. Should you happen to have a straw harvest add-on DLC. Here you see our starting equipment and all of it is owned, none of it is leased. Go ahead and take out a loan so that we can purchase up some equipment. Not equipment, animals. You see we have sheep, pigs, and cows on the map. Uh, we start with no animals of any type. And our silo has a capacity of 100,000 liters. Let's take a look at the starting equipment. Start out with one tractor, 117 horsepower. Start out with the um, Coma C6 harvester. This harvester you don't see very often uh, as starting equipment with the small grain header and we have the small uh, cultivator and plow and the great plain cedar and our pickup truck that is our starting equipment go ahead and rubber gator ride around in style and let's go ahead and find the shop the shop is See if we can't find the gator now. Let's hit reset and see where it goes. Reset point is back at the shop. So everybody knows. Here we are starting at the map. On our right here at our house, and there is one of the nuggets. Uh, so there are gold nuggets as the description said. Let's go ahead and just kind of look around here a little bit at the uh, starting farm, which is the sheep farm. We have a water fill trigger from here. We have our sheep water trough and our grass trough. This interesting shed over here, which I thought was pretty cool pull your 
something in under here, and then you've got a nice little open aired mechanic area. This is where you're going to purchase your sheep. And then you have your full spawn point. And we have our sheep. And before we uh, take a look at the gator, that's pretty much the uh, the starting area. Run across here and check this area out. I don't know what this area is intended for, but when I first saw it, I was like, oh, this could be a really nice uh, placeable spot to uh, put some small placeable things down. We've got a uh, building or a machinery enclosure here, and we've got a silage clamp down here. Here's our trigger, the silage. So there's a pretty large he area here for um, for a placeable. Go ahead and jump over here to our gator. Got the vehicle shop. Nice sign here. We got the nice diner across the street. Sunflower drinking uh, beer. We have our vehicle shop. And our repair and customized trigger. Zoom on out here. House has New Holland on it. That must be the uh, the office building, the uh, shop there. Going through here, check things out. So this is one of our cell points. Got a fuel here. And then we got our green cell point. And I'm thinking that this is a, here we go, this is what they buy. Corn, canola, barley, wheat, sunflower, potatoes, soybean, and sugar beets. And here is our wool cell point. Here we have what appears to be an animal dealer. Check that out here. Buy our animals here or sell them. I think this is more set up to be a sell point for animals than a buy point. This would be some type of your uh, shop or something. Turn on around here. Very nice, uh, very nice um, town area here, I believe. Chick uh, chicken egg cell point. Oh. Is this our silo system? Grain dump and our silo fill point. Our tractor, our fill point here. Liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer and seed fill points. Our one tractor over here with a nice. Uh, Oh, we can even sell it from here. Look at that. Customize it. Nice Coca-Cola machine. Go 
over here and check out our field prices. Oh, field number five is 3.48 hectares, $281,000, as the description said. We do have missions, and here is our chickens. Let's see here, do we see any eggs? Wonder if her eggs collect in here. That'll be really cool. Collect in these boxes. Let's head this way so we can go to the, uh, the heating plant. Go. Through. So we'll need to go the long way. There. Up in the interesting logging area. We got a, a loading ramp there. See, it's more like we have a uh, log rack where we can stack logs, and we have a ramp here, so we've got a wheel loader. Some other logs, log uh, frames in there. Here is the Woodshore Plus bio heating plant. Sell so wood chips. We have our log cell point over here. You drive on the left side of the road here on this map. I look to the left here or to the right here, but uh, we're up against all these trees, so I really don't think um, really wouldn't see much. We'd have a bunch of trees in our way. And uh oh. Traffic is a oh, traffic is brutal. Traffic is brutal. I can't see because I got EDA in my way. Let's head on over here to the biogas. sneak around this way. To the biogas plant, which is down this hill. So the uh, description did say that there were rideable trains, but uh, given the size of the map, trains really don't go uh, too far. Loco Drive would really help uh, give you a sense of uh, activity here. So we've got our Silo King. 
that are bunkers. Five. Then our digestate trigger. We'll ride the trains, um, but the trains are a little, little wonky. Not that they have a problem, but they just uh, sometimes look a little weird. Let's go. This will take us around to the uh, cow farm. We are at the cow farm. Decent amount of grass back there for the cows to uh, roam around in. And let's see if we can get back in there. I don't know if we can get back in there, but if we can get back in there, we'll be able to mow the heck of a lot of that grass. Like that fence is useful. Where we buy our cows? Vehicle shed here for the cows. Got the long silage trough here. I believe I saw the grass and water trough over here on the side. Manure, liquid manure, is the grass trough and the water trough. And it doesn't look like we can get back in there to uh, to mow all of that, but boy, they do have quite the area to wander around in. Here we have another um, log cell area. Here's to be for uh, for the train. Head on up here and check out the pig area. We have the pig area very simple. We got the same building there. This is the straw trigger. Around here. It's very standard farm sim. 17 animal areas. We've got the water. Feed trough. We have the animal trigger. Our, and we have our manure and liquid here. Get on up here and uh, check out this like a train uh, cell point. Actually, it might be a train, also a train transfer station, maybe. Drive on up through there. And let's go on, um, let's go down here to this uh, logging area and check this area out. Looks like there are two sawmills cell point for logs around the back there is cell point for wood chips like that would be the cell point for bringing logs in on the train and then we have a water trigger here for our cows and our pigs. Or 
hay, loose hay uh, cell point is up here, one of them. One of them. As is another cell point. Of the animal dealer down here. We can come get our animals and then take them to our animal shops. And right beside it, we have a sell point where we can sell our manure and our hay, straw, and grass. Field 2, which is this grass field down here we own. And here we have a train transfer station to transfer grain from the train to... Uh, trailers and whatnot and with that let's go ahead and jump on in one of the trains let's tap so this is a train and this is what I was saying about it being a little wonky let's go ahead and zoom out and back up We're going to run this train backwards and just uh, just take a look at the, the map. This is a nice small map. If you're looking for a uh, small map to play on, maybe you're going to play with some of the smaller equipment. Uh, give it a twirl if you uh, typically play with larger stuff. This might find its way in your, in your farm sim folder. cell point for train for the train and then this is where this line ends okay but if we just keep going this is where it also starts to get a little wonky see that we're really not on a track anymore it's not a track that uh, let's see and there we go now we're back to the start of that particular train here we are at the uh, other train. Things are a little wonky here. Now we are okay. We are at the edge of the map up here by our cow area. So that is a really nice uh, area of grass that we can. Maybe we can drive through that hedge. Yeah, there's not a lot of uh, train here. That would nice a uh, placeable area down there at the cow farm. Right there's uh, the field one that we own. The harvester is set up at, and that basically concludes uh, basically this track. Also, I think it wraps around the um, building here a little bit, but that's that's basically the course of of this train even. Oh, what that is a bit much. That is oh. It's an interesting map, nice and small, not a lot of big fields, not a lot of fields at all. Uh, if you played with Seasons though, I'm, I think you might want to uh, basically add in a few extra fields to start out with, just because, uh, well, there really isn't much to do with just having one wheat field, which will be unharvested, or will be harvested, 
if you start in spring and grass, which there's pretty much nothing to do other than work up that one field, and then this is where the uh, train started last time around. Over here. And see if we can't walk through that uh, hedge just to see if we can get into that uh, that cow area. Hey guys, let me know what you think of the map. You know what? I might be on the wrong side of the map boundary. Yep, we can just walk in here. So we can come in here and mow this if we uh, just pretended that we were driving through a hedge or weren't driving through a hedge. So guys, let me know what you think of the map. Again, it's Rybeck Valley for ModHoster.com. If you liked the video, please click the like button. If not, well, then that's fine and dandy too. So until next time, happy farming.